Today we are creating yet another one eyeshadow look. This is the look I created with this MAC eyeshadow called Folly, which is a satin eyeshadow, but you could use any brown or burgundy eyeshadow instead. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing how to create this look, please continue watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sneha from Beauty Lashes 19 and today I'm creating this brown, smoky eye I guess, um, using just one eyeshadow and also creating this dramatic wing liner to go with it. So let's get started. So I've already completed one eye to save time. So start off with this eye, I'm going to first prime my eyes with the MAC paint in the shade Bamboo. This primer is something that's close to my skin tone, just has a little bit of shimmer running through it. Just taking that on my hand, you can see it's very close to my skin tone. Taking it all the way up towards the brow bone. And then also running what I was remaining on the lower eyelid. For today's look, the single eyeshadow I'm using is this by MAC and it's a satin finish eyeshadow called Folly. You can choose any burgundy or brown shade for this. Just make sure it's deep enough to show on your skin tone suggest this. And I'm going to take this on a MAC 217 brush. So depending on the size of your eye, you want something that fits into your crease but is also good enough to pack on the eye. So first I'm just going to pack the shade on the mobile eyelid. Then once you have a color on the lid, then you want to start buffing into the crease. I'm also going to take some on the lower lash line and for that I'm using my Morphe E36 brush. So any small brush like this that's dense enough to pick up a good amount of product will do. Don't feel too shy in bringing it further down because we are also going in with this eyeliner that's going to take up some of this lower lash line space. So have a rough amount of eyeshadow there and then we can add more once we have the black liner on. Make sure to connect the eyeshadow at the outer corner. So this is what it should look like. So now the star of this look is this gel liner, quite romantic on the top and the bottom lash line. So for that I'm going to use my Inglot gel liner in the shade number 77. Now with that, to create the smooth line, I always mix it with this Inglot Duo line. So just a drop of this will suffice. And this will make the eyeliner budge proof, smudge proof and it just stays put as is all day long. Now for the eyeliner, I'm using two kinds of brushes. The first one is this MAC 263. So you can see that it's really thin from the side and it has the slant so this just helps in creating that wing shape. And then to further clean up the lines, if there are some bumpy lines, I go in with the smaller liner brush, which is super sharp, as you can see. I found it in the sales section in Michael's. Basically, it's a golden Taclon brush. And the number is two slash zero. So if not, you can also find this in Michael's, which is size zero. But before doing the gel liner, I'm going to rim my top and bottom waterline with the black coal. And as always, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Eyeliner in the shade Bedroom Black. So since I already have an eyeliner on this eye, I'm going to create a outline with the black eyeshadow so it's easier for me to match the two eyes. So I'm just taking this black eyeshadow by Inglot to create the outline. I'm using the black eyeshadow with the same MAC brush we're going to use for the gel liner, the 263. So we have this as a guide. And as you can see here, you can see that it's separated from the outer corner. And if I were to just dip it in here, it would be the line would just drag. It wouldn't be pigmented. So I'm going to scoop some of the gel liner on the back of my hand 
like that so much. And then with the dropper of the dual line, I'm just going to put one drop on it. Do you see that? Then mix it with that eyeliner brush. So mixing it creates this smooth paste as you can see and that's the one you want to use for your eyes. It's just going to be more pigmented and it's going to stay put all day and it's also going to be more intense. Starting off thin on the inner corner. And if your eyeliner like mine dries up, just put a tiny amount of dual line again on that patch and then mix it up. And then going in with this thin brush for the inner corner. And connecting both the top and the bottom lines. And also there's like this bump right there, so... Next I'm just going back in with that small brush and going to apply the shade Folly again on my lower lash line. Also now that we know where the eyeliner is, I like to go back and intensify where just close to that the black eyeliner. So the last step is to finish off your lashes. You can opt to do a false lash look, but today I'm just going to use some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara. So I'm just going to do a thin part of this mascara on my top and bottom lashes. For blush, I think I'm going to use this Chivalry Blush by Makeup Geek. For lipstick options, you can go with a nude lip, a pink lip, a brown lip, an orange lip. Uh, you can go with more shades just because this is such a neutral eye look. Today I think I'm going to opt for brown. This is the Huda Beauty lipstick in the shade Vixen. And I'm also going to clean up the edges with a brown lip liner. This is just a Coastal Sense lip liner in the shade Toast. Any brown lip liner will work. I'm just quickly going to contour my nose. And this, you guys, is the finished look. I really hope you like this. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to hit that like button and also consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on future content. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye! Through the waves cut through me